So, because it's a fun little sit down video today, let's go make some coffee. This is an absolutely horrendous place to put you, but I've always put you some deals. Uh, yes, I am making hot coffee, but honestly, like, sometimes iced coffee just feels so, like, uh, what's the word? Weak. And it just, like, doesn't tickle the taste buds the right way. Also, yes, I use soy milk, not because I'm a vegan bitch i actually like it like when i tell you this tastes like liquid ice cream i'm not joking i could drink a full glass of this but if you told me to drink like normal milk i'd actually throw it back in your face mary is just so nice that like she doesn't like us to have any sugar in the house but whenever i do my coffee i have nettle syrup which don't worry i didn't choose this by choice my mom had her friends come over once and they brought all these syrups for like mixing drinks or whatever and i just tried it and do you know what it snapped it just it just worked for me so we went for it let's do a little taster test <coughs> burnt me one second i was like too much syrup the next second i was like too much coffee we'll see how it goes boop that'll do don't really care now who wants who wants this like Who wants to, the chins, that wasn't there. Who wants to say hi to my baby? Bobby. She's camera shy. All right, whatever. She's a bit of a weirdo, but she's my weirdo. <laughs> I'd like to formally apologize to everyone and the spoon. I didn't realize what I did until I was walking up the stairs. And I looked at it and I was like, holy Jesus, why? Is... <sighs> I'm just silly sometimes. So today we're having a nice little throwback to our embarrassing stories. Oh, this is so fun. So nice little throwback to yesterday. <laughs> did I do anything embarrassing yesterday? I probably did, but recently I've just had this amazing thing of like blocking it out. Like if I'm embarrassed, no I wasn't. I'm not embarrassed. Like if it happened to me and I should be embarrassed, like I'm not letting myself be embarrassed because I genuinely, I do not have time for that. I like my sleep. But we'll start by, um, will I go by time? No, we won't go by time. We'll just go by however I'm prepared because I have to say Irish college. I've gone to Irish college all in all out of my whole life three weeks. And genuinely, why did... <laughs> Why does it look like that with fuck? Okay, no. I don't know, three weeks out of my whole life and I swear to God, the amount of embarrassment that has come out of those three weeks like actually isn't even funny. I went to Irish college for one week in first year and two weeks last year. I was in second year, so I'm going into third year. I'm in TY now. Oh, Honestly, do you know what? Thank God I didn't go this year because I just would have made more embarrassing stories. So kind of thankful for that. I'll be going back next year, so. <laughs> So we'll start with my first Irish college, that was the worst one, and I only went for a week there. Do you know what, I actually fucking loved it, I thought it was so much fun. Now, one of, I just had such a habit of embarrassing myself there, I don't know why. So this is, this story, oh, it makes my toes curl, coral. There was a talent show, okay. Why did I do this? There's a talent show and all of like the people in the Irish college would like, they go up and do their talent or whatever, but... There's also Kinnera, so they're like kind of like, uh, they'd be like 17, 18 to like maybe 21, 22. And they're just like, I don't know, they'd go around, they'd make sure that you're talking in Irish. Because at Irish college you have to like always talk in Irish. But like obviously you don't, but like in front of like the Kinnera and stuff you do. And they're just there to like, I don't know, they're, they're like your fun friends. And in this certain Irish college, we had a big... Uh, dorm thing and there was like I think there was 12 of us in the whole dorm and the Kinnera person there was a Kinnera in each like dorm thing so they like sleep with us she had a mattress in not the centre but kind of like um there's it was like a classroom and she'd she'd be wall she'd be like coming out with that yeah I'm not going to explain things there was the talent show the children went first then the Kinnera so like when it was the children, no one really cared to get me, like, we were just getting into it. But then when the kinnera was going, like, everyone was, like, proper paying attention, so into it by now. And, yeah, I was in the talent show, and, um, they forgot about me. Also, this was the time when I didn't know I couldn't sing. Which is even worse. 
<laughs> I didn't know I couldn't sing at this time. So like I play like a lot of instruments. So I was just like singing a song with the guitar like that was my shit until I realized oh fuck Neve, you're kind of you kind of sound like a dying cat. I went up and everyone's paying attention to me now like actually just fuck my life. So I went up onto the stage and sat down on the stair with my guitar. By the way, there's someone holding the mic for me to sing because I'm playing the guitar, okay? And I just forget all the words. All the words you've done. Oh my god. I think I knew about two fucking words of the song. Like, how stupid can you be? Like, I was just there, like, humming. Like, I literally, I literally hummed. I hummed the song. Of course, I couldn't look into the crowd because this was, I was very much in a fuck it stage. I was like, I do not care if I get embarrassed. Like, I genuinely, no one's going to remember this. Obviously, people remember it, but like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, no one thinks. I always remember that freak who, like, forgot all her. Maybe they do, but I honestly do not care. Just have fun with that story, telling your friends. I knew I couldn't look up because if I looked up, I'd look at my friend and, like, I would die laughing. I would die laughing. So I was just like this, like playing the guitar and I was like oh, looking at the ground and then every few minutes I'd look at you on holding the mic and I'd be like shaking my head because I was like this is like the biggest state I've ever done in my entire life and she'd be holding the mic and she'd be like oh, keep going, keep going, she'd be like trying to give me hope and I'm like girl there is no saving me in this. Yeah my friend told me how like the whole place tried to clap <laughs> and the like principal person of um, the Irish college was like shh. She, like no clapping and, and she was like they would have sang with you but no one know, knew the song because it was like an I it was like a normal Irish song and my mom was like Neve you have to sing this because it was like the only song I could like sing half decently that she told me anyway but thanks Mary for that that was that one we'll move off of that really quick because honestly every <sighs> there's another one okay you see, these stories are kind of annoying because you have to give so much background context, but I'll try and make it short and snappy. So, Irish College again, same place, same time, that week, and basically there's a big hall that you always go to, so this was the hall and the stage, that the magnificent stage that I fucked myself on. Yeah, so we'd always go into the hall to like do the Kaylee every night, so you just like dance around the place, whatever you do dances. It was Jersey night, so we all went to like our county jerseys. There was like Kilkenny, Wexford, Waterford and like a little bit of Tip. There was two of us I think from Tip. Why was there two of us from Tip? That was so bad. So they were playing songs, but like I didn't know that they were like that they were playing songs for us to like choose so there were snippets of every few songs lads this one's the worst we were all like sitting down on the ground and it, all of my friends like went over to like their section because of their jerseys and there was only me and this other girl from Tibbs so we were just like sitting in the corner where all of my friends were sitting over there like you know whatever in their jerseys and they started playing the song and everyone got really into it so I was like, oh, this is this is good. We'll 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 get up and dance. Like, what the fuck, me? What the fuck? So we, uh, uh, I jumped up and I ran over to my friends. Now so I I started going, get up, get up, we'll dance, we'll dance. Okay, I feel like I also have to explain with this all right. Yes, the whole Irish college. Whoa, whoa, I got up dancing, but it's a huge hall, and my friends were like over in one corner, and I was like over here. So I hopped up and I ran across the whole hall and. and then the, the the principal person's up on the stage and he was like, no, he was like, no, no, see, see, she is, see, she is, like, um, you know, that's Irish for sit down. By the way, the person doing the music, everyone, every single girl at the Irish college was obsessed with this male. And I look back on it and I'm like, what, why? He was extreme, we called him Shaquille Cuss, other known as Chicken Legs, because he was extremely skinny. And he was doing the songs and he saw me, which like, I don't really care because like you know who like who cares but like you know at that time you're like oh my god like he saw me do that like the beautiful fella but like can you just, like the whole Irish college was there and I just get up on my own and start dancing trying to get everyone back up and he's just like no I don't know if I'm telling this well at all but I hope you can like understand my fucking pain from this a simple social anxiety one was just that there's like a canteen place that you go in to like have your meals and shit and they like give out the mail so my parents like sent in like this huge bag because I only brought like a little blanket and, and they stuffed my duvet into a bag and then so when you have mail or whatever they call your name so they're like knee flatly and you have to like go all the way up through the canteen and pick up your bag 
and like they I had like a heat like this because you know like you know the duvet was stuffed in like the bag so I was like lugging it back down but like it's just a whole thing of like going everyone just watching you like walk to the top of the canteen and come back down with the big bag it just wasn't nice for me don't really want to remember any of the others just silly stuff like um probably little stuff that I said like uh remember this thing that we got obsessed with that from here to here is the size of a fella's dingling. By the way, I'd like to clarify that I was in first year at this time, so I was a little freak, okay? Me and my friend, we got all the fellas to put their hand up, and one of the Kinora girls like knew what we were on about, and she was like so disgusted with us, and she was like, no, no, don't do that. Like, But, but it was just the whole thing of like you thinking you're all, you're all cool, like doing it, and then like one of the older people is just like, no, you're actually a freak for doing that. So then like it really, pains you when you do that you're like so that was one i think i'll move on to the next irish college there's just, there's just one that really sticks out to me oh there's another one i just remember but this this one like like hurts it hurts me i don't know why but it hurts so we were in class because yes you have to do like two or three hours of class in irish college because it's just fun like that they just like to do that yeah <sighs> i was just i i don't know what i was doing but i was talking to the teacher and I was like miss like what's 10 plus what's 10 plus 9 and she was like 19 and I was like no no she was like yeah it is and I was like no it's 21 it's 21 and silence the whole class just silence and then just one of the girls in the back just goes isn't that the joke from seven years ago and then everyone just like laughs Okay, th it sounds so stupid when I say it in the story, okay? But lads, I literally like head down like, oh fuck. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, there there's gonna be some people watching this like, Neve, get the hell over yourself. But I know that there's other people that are actually like, oh my god. Oh my god, she did not. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. To whoever did that, I know it was just a joke. Like, I don't really care, but it really fucking hurt me at that time. Like, I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. Um, what was the other one? Oh, yeah. So, it was the Kaylee thing. We're all doing our dances, going around the place, and we were paused, and they were playing a song, Riptide to be exact, and so I played the guitar. And I remember my thought process, because I can play it. So I started... I was just standing and I started doing the notes with my hands and I was going do 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 and I was just standing there strumming like this like like let's say you're just standing in a big hall and you just look over and there's just this one standing here like this I don't know about you but that's a bit fucking weird like if I saw that I'd be like I know that if some rando just looked over and saw me doing that they'd be like is that girl okay? I literally, this is the worst part. My thought process, I remember thinking like, oh, like when people are gonna look at me now, they're gonna like see me and they're gonna know that I can play guitar. <laughs> and I remember I was doing it and my friend was beside me and I just, I just turned to her and the two of us just like stopped and we just like stared at each other and I literally just started, we're well, not like screaming, but like I just started like laughing. And it's like I'm um, in fours kind of, so there's two, two facing each other, so, oh wait, two, two, so then you do the dance, and then it's like four around, like in like the Kaylee Hall or whatever, so it was like me and my friend doing it, and like other people, and then she was saying how the other two was just like looking at me and like laughing at me, like what kind of a freak is that? Like Neve, like you're not cool, like you can play guitar. So do I have any other awkward moments from the Irish college? I don't think so. I probably blocked them from my memory. So let's go to the childhood. <laughs> oh no, there's a big one I need to say. People I, people I know are definitely gonna watch this and they're definitely gonna know, but honestly, like it's actually too funny, I do have to say it. I'm really outing myself with this one. So when I was like, what class was I in? I think I was in like, junior infants, senior infants. And I think we all know we, we have those dreams. This is actually, this I think this is the only time that this has ever happened to me where I have a dream about a fella and like I end up liking him. Liking him, by the way, I did not like him. And I was in junior senior infants, so like, do we count it now? But what was the dream was, I distinctly remember in the dream, I remember like scrolling through all the fellas in like my school and then like it just like slowed down and like landed on him. And then, I don't even know, I just woke up the next morning and I was like, I like him. But I didn't, like, 
I know that people, I know that if anyone from, who like, who was like in my school, I'm just like saying that to like, no I didn't like him, but they're like, no Neve, you're obsessed with him, but like genuinely looking back, like come on, I was fucking four. I was like five. Do you actually think I did know I had a stupid dream? And I was like, oh my god, so in love. His brother was in my class. I don't know why, but I told him. <laughs> I was like, hey. <laughs> I like your brother. I realized this was this was a big whammy for me, but it's kind of hard to give all the context behind it. As a silly little five-year-old, I did talk about it a lot, and it also I loved people's reactions for some reason. If someone if someone gave me a funny reaction, I just like keep saying it over and over. I just re I distinctly remember there's okay. So the school was really small, like you know, country school. It's kind of like okay, so the school is just a big block, and there's one, two, three classrooms, and then. The boys' bathroom, girls' bathroom, and I just we we'd have we'd put slippers slippers on. So every like lunch, or whatever, we'd go there to put our shoes on to go outside. Then we put our slippers back on to go into the class. Kind of weird, actually. Now looking back at it, so I remember walking out of the girls' thingy to go to my class, and he walked out of his, and he saw me, and he just stopped, and he turned back around and walked back into the boys' thing. But honestly, like I can't remember all of the stuff that I did say, and I say it was actually horrendous. But I just, I do have to add again that I was five. I am defending myself here. And I just, I remember as well when I was in like third class or something and I was like, what was I doing? I think we were crossing the road or something and he was beside me. And I just, I felt like I had to like redeem myself to like say like, no, I actually don't like you. And I remember I was being such a little bitch. I was like, you're such an idiot. I was like, shut up. You're an idiot. Like saying shit like this, like Neve, like calm down. Like, what were you actually on? I was actually crazy as a child, but that's a completely different story. I thought that was going to be a bigger whammy than it actually was, actually saying it out loud. But I just, I just remember it like I know that it was a bad thing. But because... <gasps> I remembered something. Oh God! It involves him. He was passing out sheets for the choir in school. We we're in the church, and he like missed me or something. I don't know. He didn't give me the sheet, so I actually have no idea what the thought process was. I really don't, but um, I think I went to hit him, but I ended up hitting his arse. <laughs> I literally just, lads, I smacked his arse, okay? I, I gave him a little, <laughs> I'm not messing, oh Jesus. Anyone from my fucking school sees this, I will literally die. But if you do actually, please text me. I don't care who you are, please. That'd be really funny. I'd actually have a right out giggle at it. But like, when, like I literally, I smacked his arse. I gave him a nice little last tap. Like I do, I do remember him not giving me the thing and I was like, girl. And I like, I was like, to me, I was just going to hit him, but you know, I ended up giving him a nice little booty tap. And then of course he turned around and he was like, freak. And then I remember we were all at um, we were at the gate waiting, waiting to walk out. And all, all lads, all of his friends came up to me and they were like, did you slap his ass? And I was like, no. And they were like, what the hell, you little weirdo? And I was like. I'm literally eight. <laughs> Looking back on this, that primary school was so dramatic. It was so dramatic. Like school now, like is literally not a patch. When I'm involved in it, like when I'm dead center in it, and I have a crowd of fellas around me, like what the fuck? I am gonna like shit my pants, which I did. Did I ever poo? I did. I did shart myself, but I was it's okay. I was in the car. I also shart myself in my mum's bed. Story for a different time. But do I have any more embarrassing? See, those are the ones that like really stick out in my mind. Uh, I've two more actually. I'll make them short and snappy. Primary school, sitting. There was three classes in one classroom, like fourth, fifth, and sixth class. Because again, country school. There was ten people in my class, like. So, the tables are like this. And then like there's more tables like sticking out from them if that makes sense. So this is like the table like this and then if that makes sense. So I was sitting here and so the table is sticking out. So there's two girls sitting here and I had water in my mouth and I coughed. And I literally, I, I spurted it all over her. All over her. Is this embarrassing to me? It's actually not because it was quite fucking funny. And I won't say anything about said girl but... Let's just say I wasn't I wasn't mad about it. What was the other one? Oh yeah. So 
I find this funny as well. We were we were sitting in class and I don't know. There was one of my friends. He was like trying to tell me something I didn't want to know. So I covered my ears and I closed my eyes and I started going la 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 like really really loud. And it, I didn't think it was that loud, but like apparently it was like really loud. And I opened my eyes and the like when I tell you the whole classroom, the whole classroom was just like turned staring at me. And I was like, hey, how are y'all doing? Hey. Hey. How y'all doing? This was fun. We had a nice talk, talk to talk, heart to heart. Um, I definitely have way more. I might do a round two. We'll definitely come up with more. But I don't want to. I don't want to think about those. That's it. I hardly drank any of my coffee. I was too busy talking. Oh my god, it's Christmas soon. We'll go have fun at Christmas. I'll see you soon, girlies.